Next at six, it's a project that's been in the works for years, but now the plans are at a standstill. Valina Jones tells us what's next for Judge Doyle Square. That's right. The project that the city of Madison hopes will grow business at the Monona Terrace and draw more people into the area, but with changing plans and a high price tag, council voted this week to bring the project to back to square one. I'm disappointed that we are essentially starting over. It's been five years since the city began to look at ways to redevelop Madison's municipal building into a hotel and parking lot. But now it's back to the drawing board for the project and its potential developers. Council was in this dilemma where the list of things that we want in this project and the willingness to pay for those things had a complete disconnect. Earlier this year, council started negotiations with JDS Development to build the estimated $111 million project. But with such a high price tag, the mayor is looking for other solutions. We've got to get a proposal. We have to cost it out. We have to see if there's a tip. You have to look at the return on investment. And all of this is premature. This is exactly why we want more study, more analysis, and to look at more options. More options that some council members think will not cut cost in the end. I think that, that some of my colleagues are imagining that uh, pixie dust will fall from the sky and there will be someone coming in to supply all of the things that the city requires to have as part of this project without a significant public investment. Now, what does this mean for taxpayers? The council president tells me it'll cost at least $50,000 to start the process over. The mayor says they are already speaking with two potential bidders on the project. All right, well, here we go again, I guess. Exactly. All right, thank you, Valina. Mm -hmm.